This is how you use motion guides with the pencil tool to control the path of your animation in Adobe Animate. All right, so as you can see, I have the sky on one layer at the bottom here and the airplane on the next. To create a motion guide, all we have to do is add a new layer above that. We're gonna call this one pencil guide. And then while you're on that pencil guide layer, you're gonna go up and actually click on your pencil to choose it. Now, if you don't see it, you might have to click on these three little dots right here. It'll be in this drag and drop tools menu and then just drag it like this. You drag it over to your menu over here and let it go. Okay, so once you're selected on the pencil tool, all you're gonna do now is draw the path that you want. So I'm gonna do a kind of a weird little loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm gonna make some mistakes kind of on purpose. So you can see here that this is not a very good path, this bumpy thing, for a couple reasons. One over here under properties and tool, I have it on straighten, so you don't want that. You want it on smooth. You wanna make sure your stroke size is down really small. If you take the stroke off, you can't actually draw on it. So you gotta make sure that stroke is on a color here and that it's really low. And then make sure your style is a straight line, width is small, and you go down here, here's the other thing. Pencil options, you wanna smooth it out as well. I'm just gonna go up to about 50 and I'm gonna draw this same thing again. Okay, so I'm gonna do this loop-de-loop -loop here and loop-de-loop -loop here, and there you go. Now that helps smooth out your path. You might get little things like this though, like I'm gonna over-exaggerate this. If you get little knots like this, then make sure you go Control Z and undo it and draw your path again, because that'll make the plane or whatever you're moving go like all kind of jaggedy for a second. Make sure that your path is smooth before you move on. Once you have your path all set, you're just gonna go down to the pencil guide layer, right click on it and select guide. That's gonna add this little hammer thing beside pencil guide. Then you're gonna drag your plane layer or whatever you have to move and just drag it over to the right so you see this kind of black line with this white little circle in it. Don't have it over here, make sure it's indented and then let go. And then all you're gonna do is go up to the free transform tool, so this second one down, and you see this little white dot in the middle? You wanna place that wherever you want the plane to be or whatever you're moving to be situated along this line. So you know what, I'm just gonna move mine just to show you that you can move it. So I'm gonna put it maybe up by the propeller. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll move it there. And then all you're gonna do right here at the very start on frame one, we're just gonna drag this and it's gonna suction cup to the line. If it doesn't, you might have to zoom in and get a closer look to be able to attach it. Sometimes that's better, sometimes that's worse. In my case, it's worse right now. You know, I think I got it on the line, but we'll find out in a second. Then just go down on your timeline to however long you want the animation to be. So I'm just gonna say two seconds. I'm gonna click and hold and then drag down so all three layers are selected. Then I'm gonna go over here and select insert keyframe. If you don't see this white box with the black little circle in it, right click. You might be seeing one of these other ones, so make sure to select keyframe right there. Then on the plane layer, we're gonna click between the keyframes somewhere, and then right click and go up to create classic tween. It's gonna turn purple like this. Then we're just gonna click on the last frame right here, probably zoom out, I'll fit it onto the window again. And then we're gonna go the opposite. We're gonna move this all the way to the end right here. Now, I think I missed at the start here, and we'll find out real quick. So when I go backwards right here, oh, I didn't miss. So if you go backwards like this and it doesn't follow the path, then that means you missed either over here or over here. So you just gotta keep kind of moving it around until you get the right spot. Now, our only issue here is the plane is flying all kind of weird, right? So we have to do two things. At the very first keyframe right here on the plane layer, we have to make sure we're on our free transform tool, go to the corner and rotate it so it's facing along the path that you want in the direction that you want, and then go to the last keyframe and do the same. So I'm gonna go to the corner and just kinda rotate that one a bit. That's gonna help a little bit, but then the last thing you need to do is click back in between, go over here to properties and down to tweening, and just click this one right here, orient to path. Now the plane is gonna change directions and move along with the path. So it's gonna go loop-de-loop -loop and loop-de-loop. -loop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next time.